friends, today we're gonna draw a fall tree. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker and some paper. We've drawn a tree before, so be sure to check that one out. That one's full, it's got green leaves all over it. Yep. This one's gonna be missing a few leaves. A and lot. <laughs> so we, <laughs> this one's gonna be a little different. We're gonna draw more branches and we're gonna draw the leaves individually. You ready to start? Yes. All right, well, first step we're gonna draw is the trunk of the tree. We're gonna draw a wobbly line that's kind of coming down diagonal. And we're drawing it lower on the page so that we have room for the branches up here. Now we're gonna draw the other side of our tree trunk and we can draw a line that matches it. Now at the bottom, let's draw the roots. We're gonna draw part of the root that comes out on each side. And if we want, we could also draw another root right down the middle. Okay, now let's connect everything. We're gonna start over here. We're gonna come over, connect to that line. And then this one, we're gonna connect over to this other side. Cool, okay, now down here at the bottom, we're gonna draw leaves instead of grass. So we'll do that at the very end. Let's come up here and we're gonna draw the branches. We're gonna draw a line that comes out and it can kind of curve and yeah, that looks really cool. Now we're gonna draw the other side of the branch. Now it's gonna come closer to the first line we drew and we're gonna stop about halfway. Then we can branch off and come branch. a different direction. Yeah, branch. Branch off. Okay, now we're gonna come back in here and we're gonna draw a V. It comes down and back up. Cool, now at the very end, we're gonna add two more branches. We're gonna come out like this and we can come out on the other side too. Cool, now we're gonna draw we're gonna draw a line that starts at the end of the first one, comes down, and then back up and connects to the other side. There we go, we did it. Now, let's do the same thing over here on this branch. We're gonna split it at the very end, and we can draw these really long, or we can draw them really short. You can use your own creativity to draw them differently. Watch this, look, I'm gonna stop there, and I'm gonna do another branch right here at the very end. Is that cool? Yeah. Now let's draw the center branch. So we're gonna come up here, I'm gonna draw a wavy line that comes up, and really, you guys at home, you don't have to match our drawings exactly the same. Use your own creativity and change your branches any way you want. Now I'm gonna draw the other side of the branch, it's gonna come up halfway, and then we're gonna split and come to the side. Cool, now let's draw the center part. We'll come down, back up, now on each side, we're gonna branch off. We're gonna split it. I'm gonna come this way. Oh, you're still going. Good job, dude, I like it. I'm gonna split this one. And then I'm gonna draw the middle part. And this one, I'm gonna stop halfway and then I'm gonna split that one coming this way. And then this one, I'm gonna connect. Over here, I'm gonna split this one one more. And then connect them. That looks awesome. Okay, I'm gonna do one more over here. You're already finished with your center branch. I'm gonna draw this a lot faster since we're just repeating the same steps, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna draw ah, like that. This one I'm gonna split. Maybe a small split. Here we go. Okay, now we can draw the right branch. And let's do the same thing. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out. This, this one's gonna come further. And this one's gonna split off this way. And then we draw the middle. Ooh, I got really close over here, that's okay. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, right? Yeah. Now I'm gonna draw a branch that comes out way over here. This one's gonna come up further. That looks really cool. Now, if you want, you could actually add a few more branches too. Let's let's do that. Right here, I'm just gonna add a branch that comes out. Now, the cool thing about the tree, this tree is you can come back in and add more branches where you feel like there needs to be more. So see how there's a really big space right here? Yeah. So I'm gonna add one that comes out like this, and then that one can split like that. I'm gonna add a branch coming down further.
Good job, dude. I really like this extra one you added over here. Now, what is our fall tree missing? Uh, leaves. Yeah, it's missing fall leaves. Now, we're going to add these all over the place. We're just going to add little football shapes. We can come out like this and then back in. Is that cool? Now, we don't want to add too many on the whole tree. We don't want to fill it back in because a lot of them are going to be down here on the ground. Yeah. So I'm also going to add leaves down here that have fallen. Now we're gonna fast forward this part because we got a lot of leaves to draw. Now you guys at home can pause the video to match this or take the extra time to add your own leaves. Ready to fast forward? Yeah. I really love all of the leaves you've added down here at the bottom and the ones that are falling from the tree. Yeah. Now we still need to do one thing. What is it? Color it. Yeah, it's gonna look so much better once we color it. We're gonna use our oil pastels, but you guys can use whatever you want. You can use colored pencils, you can even paint your trees if you want. All right, we did it. We finished coloring our trees and they look so much better. I hope you guys are gonna pause the video right now to match the same coloring. And we also added green down here for the grass and we used dark brown for... The shadow. Yeah, the shadow on our tree to make it look more 3D. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your fall trees. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.